you are going to see a Hagi STS. When you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello YouTube, Farmhand Mike here, and in today's video, I am in Western Dark County, Ohio, right on the Indiana state line, out in the field with a Hagee STS-12 sprayer with a 120 foot boom. In this video, you are going to see this machine spraying fungicide on some corn. Come along for the ride. Once the sprayer gets into the tall corn, it's going to be kind of hard to see it, so let's walk underneath of it and get an up-close view for you. I have to uh, turn my head down just a little bit, so almost six foot of clearance here. Just have to fill the sprayer quick and then we will head out to the field. Just getting into corn here and he's gonna fold out the booms of the sprayer. I stand corrected in the beginning of the video I said this was a 120 foot boom. This is actually a 100 foot wide boom, not a 120. As you can see the water there in the background, we've been getting a lot of rain here in this area this summer and some of the low spots of the field are paying the price of that. I'm right in the cab of this sprayer with the owner Jeremy Edger from Seed Ready Solutions LLC out of Greenville, Ohio. Jeremy is a local farmer and also does some custom spraying and whatnot and does quite a bit of spraying for the farm that I help out on. The field you're seeing here is also a custom job he is doing as he is applying fungicide to this standing corn. Fungicide is going to protect the corn against diseases and also help improve yields. There's a couple ways you can come in here and do this, and you can do this with a crop duster, airplane, or helicopter, or a front boom high clearance self-propelled sprayer as you see here. This corn, as most of the corn in the area, is planted on a 30 inch row spacing. He is straddling four rows with the sprayer. The tires on a sprayer are approximately 16 inches wide, so he's able to get down the rows plenty easy without running down any corn. He does have GPS on here, however, he is using the GPS just to map the field. He's actually driving the rows and driving the sprayer. Also note with this being a front boom sprayer, he is spraying the corn except for the nozzles right in front of the cab. If you look, those are not spraying, but there is a section on the back of the sprayer that's spraying the fungicide down there. What that does is if he was spraying with the boom up this high, he would be plastering the windshield not be able to see. Not only that, you'd be knocking that spray off the plant as you straddle it. So he's spraying right behind, as you see there on those four rows. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of spraying fungicide? Is it fungicide or fungicide? I hear it pronounced both ways. I say it either way. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, uh, I guess an advantage of doing it this way is a lot of farmers do have their own self-propelled sprayer. And if you have a high clearance like this, you can come in here and apply this yourself. The only thing you risk is you are going to run down a little bit of corn. If you have any washouts in your field or anything like that, you may not see them until it's too late. Or with an airplane, you're flying it on. You don't have that risk. Generally, most farmers in our area do not have their own airplane or helicopter crop duster, so therefore they would have to hire it out. I had a farmer I know a few years ago that bought his own sprayer to do this tells me he sees a more even application of the fungicide doing it with the self-propelled sprayer over flying it on. I'm sure that's up for debate. 
The field he sprayed in this video is 90 acres. It does have an offset in it, but he was able to spray this field in just under an hour.
that's going to do it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. If you're just finding my YouTube channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We just passed that 90,000 subscriber mark. Let's see how fast we can get her up there to 100,000 subscribers. Anyways, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media.